After you have built your fourth quarter database for the current year, you're ready to begin processing your W-2s. From Temps Plus, go up to Process, Payroll, Print W-2s, enter the year you want to build your W-2s for. If you want to print them on plain paper this, with the form overlay, here's the option for on plain paper. Any company codes that you want to process at this given time. Any quarterly or year-end reports that you may want to run. If you want to run the locality, quarterly SUI report. Um, but if we scroll down, you'll see the option for a W-2 audit report. Uh, what that's going to do is it, the report will include any employees with missing or incorrect social security numbers or improperly formatted city lines. If you want to print your W-2 grand totals page, we can do so and begin. The next screen is going to pull up your W-2 data builder, which is going to walk you through and let you enter any data that you may need to in all of your available boxes. Uh, the description here tells you what that box number is. The update SQL expression field is what value needs to be represented in that field. Value being a deduction letter if the wages are associated with the Temps Plus deduction letter. If you're using the W-2 supplement table for any values that need to be printed on a W-2 but are not currently stored in Temps Plus, you could enter an exclamation point followed by the W-2 supplement field. The supplemental description, if there's a little code designator that needs to go next to those wages in that box, uh, that's where you would put in their supplemental description, like in box 14. And flip sign. What the flip sign is just says, hey, if this value is a negative in your check history, go ahead and flip the sign. Make it a positive for reporting on your W-2s. Either yes or no. This screen also has the option for field names. If you click on field names and you're talking about something like locality, local taxes, local wages, school taxes, if we scroll down, this is going to give you all of the available fields for updating your W-2 boxes and tell you where that information is coming from. The W-2 supplement table, you can see here I have used eCost Health for employer cost of healthcare contributions. But like your local taxes, down here from your local W-2 table, if I wanted to put local wages on my W-2 or local taxes into a box. Scroll down, look for box 18 is going to be local wages. That's the value that needs to go in there, local wages, taken directly from the available field names. Same thing like with box 19. Local income tax comes local taxes, taken directly, again, from your available field names. You're going to want to step through every box and make sure that if there's a value that you need to report, that you have the update SQL expression populated with where that information is coming from. If it's a box that has that needs the sum of two deduction letters reported, it would be entered like this, deduction letter plus deduction letter. As you get down to box C1, C2, C3, uh, federal ID number, you'll see that your update SQL expression it should be pre-populated with information within single tick marks. Those single tick marks are going to say, hey, whatever's in this update SQL expression between those tick marks, you want that hard-coded printed on your W-2. Once you're happy with all of your box settings, go ahead and click on Build W-2 Data. Uh, you can see here that I've already built my W-2 data, so if this would be a case where you had to make some changes. Maybe you forgot a deduction letter, you noticed that it needed to be included, and now you want to go in and rebuild your data. This box would say Build or Rebuild W-2 Data. The first screen is going to be the option to confirm and update your state IDs. The second screen that's going to pop up is going to be your key totals by state. If you have multiple states and the total of the values in each of the boxes defined. When you're done, exit and view report. And you'll see that here is our information for our first W-2. 
And if we go to the last page, 873 W2s. If you want to print a copy, recommend printing a copy first. Make sure your print margins and everything line up on your forms. When you're happy to print them, go ahead and do so. Now, also, if you have multiple locations within a single database, and you want to be able to print your W-2s by the applicant's home location ID. You can do so. There is a report on Bridgeware Download Center that will print your W-2s by location. You're going to get a pop-up that's going to ask you for which location do you want to process. This will let you print them in groups so you can say you're ready to print your W-2s for location 1. Go ahead and print. Then you can run it again. Print your W-2s for location 2 and three, et cetera. If you need help getting that report installed in your system, just call support and anyone can help you with that. After you close out of there, you're gonna get the additional reports that we specified. Here's the W-2 audit report, again, with incorrect or uh, missing social security numbers, improperly formatted city lines, and process complete. And that's it for printing W-2s. If you have any questions on this, you can always call support and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.